Hello. And good morning to LRS Fishing on the beach. Ah, oh, get in there. I've got three rods out. I've got a, I made myself a homemade sand spike. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, it's, it's good conditions. Uh, the waves are rolling in. There's some big swell. It, it might not look it on the camera, but yeah, it's pretty impressive. Um, so I've got a real close sim rod, a scratching rig if you want, a free hook flapper, no, free hook paternoster rig. Uh, my left, my, my sort of middle rod, that's way out distance. Um, that's on a, a pulley pedal, two hook pulley pedal, obviously. And then my right hand rod, it's just a one up, one down uh, rig, all on five ounce grip leads. I'm on squid and uh, worm. And I've got some mackerel as well, so I'm gonna alternate between the baits. Um, but I'm having a problem with my middle rod, my blue rod, my agility. I'm casting it distance and it's gripping, and then it's dislodging, and then moving, and then gripping again. Every single time I reel it in, it's the, the, the thingamabobs, the prongs, the, the spikes that stab into the grass, to the sand, they're not really dislodging properly. But they're not gripping in either. So I'm, I'm having to reconfigure, because my line is drifting like that. There's a little bit of seaweed about, not too much that I'm worried about, that's gonna dislodge my five ounce grip lead. Um, so I'm not 100% sure what's going on with that. It's a beautiful, but it's a bit chilly, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd come down in. Um, now the spot I'm in, it's between Walcott and Bacton Power Station on the east coast of England. The tide is not with me. Look at this. Wow. Yeah. Anyway. As I was saying, the tide is not with me today at all. Um, high tide has been and gone. Um, low tide at the minute because I always like to fish as close to like dusk and dawn as I possibly can uh, to high tide but I like to fish the tide up um, and low tide isn't in, like 1.45 or something like that in the morning and high tide was at um, 5 o'clock so I've got down here Sorry about that, my sand spike fell over. <laughs> I just could sit doing that, I was like, it's going over, it's going over. <laughs> That's funny. But anyway, as I was saying, yeah, the tides aren't with me. Um, so I'm fishing the tide um, ebbing away, which for me, I've never done any good. Um, it's just one of those things that, you know, I can't control the tide, so. But I'm out here giving it a go anyway. It's chilly, but it's pleasant, do you know what I mean? Well, I'm just keeping an eye on my lines because they're just drifting round to the right. I'm quite tight to them as well. So, um, yeah, they shouldn't be, they shouldn't, there's not a lock of belly in the line or whatever. Now, my left, my little, my rod in the sand spike, I've only chucked it out about, I don't know, 25, 30 yards, because there's like, when I was last here, it's like a gully, and I'm just, I'm just trying to find it. Um, so I'm just casting where the tide has come in and splashed, and it's just caused like a gully, like erosion in the sand. It's caused like a gully. Um, so I'm just trying to find that at the minute. I think maybe fish will be in there patrolling it. I don't know, but I'm just trying, just seeing what we can, seeing what we can find out, you know. But I'm going to sort out my, left, my, left, my middle rod because I'm worried that it's going to cross the lines and um, see what happens.
absolute, look at this little bass. One second. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, I ain't done it. One second. gully what I was talking about it's only a little one <sighs> a little schoolie bass how about that ha <laughs> ha yeah <sighs> these oh look at how wicked does that look little schoolie bass Go on, son. Right, let's get him back. I'm made up with that. Come on, I'll, I'll bring you with me. Come on, Enter. Look at that. It's only little, but you know what? It all counts, doesn't it? So the bass are about then. Right, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, he's, he's all right, he's all right. Okay. Yes! Woohoo! Crack a little, ah, uh, do you know what? Yeah, it, it was little, I get that, but flip it neck, yes! I made up, I haven't had a bass for ages. A proper bass lot. Um, last year, the last time we were at the East Coast on holiday, we were here for a week in September, and I was spinning, I was lure fishing, and um, I actually had a really nice 50 centimeter bass. However, I didn't have a GoPro back then, I was only recording on my phone, and my phone was damaged. It was unbelievable, just lure fishing, and the, the bass just, oh, it was epic. And, um, I lost all the footage. I don't know how it kept happening, so that's why I got the GoPro. Um, so, on camera, that's the first bass I've had in forever. I don't know. Oh. Get in there, son. Right, I'm going to get this rebated and get it. It's that scratching rig right in that gully, what I was saying. I've just found the gully 30 yards out, I should imagine, and I thought maybe the fish would be hunting there, and, it, um, and it's paid off. I'm made up. Right, I'm going to get this rebated and get it out of there. Quality. I'm not gonna believe this. Now then. <laughs> right. Smooth hound. My very first smooth hound from the shore. Look at that! I can't believe it. My very first smooth hound. And one second. So I've got a smooth hound and a whiting. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, guys. Look at that. Oh, 
come on. And a white in as well. My very first smooth hand from the shore. It's only a little pup. Look at that. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I don't know where he's gone. So uh, that wasn't the best release in the world. That's my first smooth hound I've ever had. Right, I'm just gonna deal with this whiting down here. <sighs> Only small little pin whiting. Right, I'm gonna get this guy released. So something annoying has happened. I was reeling in and with that smooth hound I just had, it was dragging along the bottom. It felt heavy and stuff. Well, this just felt uh, exactly the same. And it just felt a, a lot heavier. It, it hasn't cracked off. It hasn't snapped off at the knot. I've still got on my shock leader, but it's come off on the rig. So I don't know what's happened. It was lit I literally got just in here. And I could I could see something in the water. I couldn't make out what it is. And then it just went poof like that. The top of the it just the top of the rod just went Ksh. I was like, no, I've lost the fish. And I've just reeled in probably half like I got probably so I'll say I've best got about 15, 20 feet of shock leader on. Well no, longer than that actually. Because the rod's 15 foot, so I had, I've got 30 feet of shock leader, and I probably had about five feet of shock leader around my reel. It was just there, and then the top of the rod just went. Just, oh, I'm gutted because that would have been a much bigger fish. So, and it was, it was literally just in here. So I don't know if maybe the grip lead has dug in. So it might be still in the shallows here somewhere, stuck. I don't know. It's a shame, gutted, but hey, what a session. I'm made up. I've never had, a, I had a smooth hound on a boat, um, probably about uh, September last time I was here, but it's just a little bit more rewarding, I feel, when you're short, when you're on the beach, because it's just so much harder. I'm made up and it was on squid, and, um, and worm, and it was on the um, one up, one down rig. So yeah, right. I'm gonna get a new, a new, um, a new rig tied on here, and uh, we'll get fishing. Right, let's get some eggs on the go. Right, I forgot oil. I forgot. I usually have a little bit of olive oil in there or whatever, but um, unfortunately, like an absolute tool, I forgot them. So they're just probably gonna burn instantly, but you know what, it's all right. My rods are over there. So I'm starving. It's six, what's the time here, look? It's seven o'clock. I should imagine I'll be getting a phone call off the missus and the kids. How'd you get on? How's it going? You having fun? And all that jazz. Oh boy, you freaking bet your love I am. Freaking smooth hound, people. A smooth hound. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm made up, I'm generally made up. I didn't crack an egg either. Didn't actually break an egg. Keep an eye on that. I already minded my own business. I'm like, oh, what's that crawling up my leg? Lovely.
here we go people. Double shot of whiting. <laughs> Look at that. There you go. <laughs> it's quality. <laughs> now I'm getting two on one hook. Absolute quality. Right, let's get these unhooked and um, released. Get in there. <laughs> Another whiting. Right, let's get him un unhooked and released. Yes. Come on. <laughs> Another whiting. You can't go wrong. What a session. I'm, I'm chuffed. Woo come on. Get in there. Right, I'm gonna get him released. The top of my rod, this one here, has gone berserk. It just went doof, 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 like that. But the other one's not doing anything. Yeah, I've got a bite, I've got a bite. One second, guys. One second. I haven't got a tri my tripod. Oh, right, give me a minute. What is that? What a session! Where's the hook? Where's the other hook? Oh my goodness, guys! Come on, carry on. He's trying to spy me. Yeah. What a session! This guy's full of beans. What a bass! Oh, come on! What a fish! I don't really know what to say, people. What a fish! <laughs> Absolute bang on. I'm having the best session of my life. Incredible stuff. Right, let's sort this guy out. 
Look at that. Unbelievable. What a fish. Look at you. What an absolute cracking session. I can't believe it, what a session. Look at that. Right, let's get him back. I can't believe it. Look at him. Right, let's get him back. Oh, it's not a bad size. A nice little bull house. Yeah, he went back to suit. There he is, there he is, there he is. Oh, he jumped out of the water. What a session. <laughs> What a session. I'm having to use my GoPro because, um, uh, sorry, my phone, because my battery died in my GoPro. So the filming's a bit iffy and I haven't got a, a mount for my phone on my tripod. I can't believe it. What a session. Oh, come on. What a session, what a session. I'm Come on. Unbelievable. I said at the beginning of this, I'm not, I'm gonna blank, I'd never do any good on the ebbing tide. And it's daylight, it's 10 o'clock. Usually fishing like this, it's like, you're talking like in the evening, the tide should be flooding, the fish would be coming in. And it's gone against all the fishing principles that I've stuck to. Make sure you try and get here for dusk or dawn. Make sure it's the uh, flooding tide, not the ebbing tide. I've got here just as high tide, and as the tide has ebbed off, the fishing's just got better and better. I mean, we're at, low, we're at nearly low water. I've never had fishing like it. It's just, it's just phenomenal. I can't explain it. And I lost a good fish out here as well. I'm convinced that was a big fish I lost, because it was just like that smooth hound, but it just felt so heavy and there was like a, a, a like a, a judder and then a, where it had come off where 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 the rig had come away from the uh, where the rig had come away because I thought oh no my leader knot's given up but it wasn't and so I've lost a really good big fish and on top of that smooth hounds um, bull hus sea bass whiting oh what a session Give us a comment what you think, please, man. And uh, don't forget as well, while you're commenting, smash that subscri subscribe button for me. What a session! <laughs> Come on! Well, I'm gonna pack up a few of my rods and just leave this one out here, because um, it's getting up to 10 o'clock. It's low water now. I'm running out of bait, and um, I've got things to do today. So um, yeah, let me get all my gear packed away, and I'll get back to you in a minute. Catch you in a bit, guys. So I'm back at the car now. Um, it's been an absolutely magnificent session. I've never had a session like it. I was just thinking to myself though, what is it about today? What are the conditions? It's 12 to 12 and a half degrees, the tide is ebbing. Um, the waves, I mean, there's no, there's not, there's a breeze, but it's nothing. It's next to, like, you wouldn't even know. Like, it's not cold. Um, the tide, you know, it's a bit choppy. It's a bit rough, but nothing. Out the ordinary, do you know what I mean? I, I wouldn't say the conditions are extra special to cause that sort of fishing. So let me know, is it just one of them things? Because I've always believed when I've watched 
videos and stuff and like you know you watch some of the bigger channels and they've fished all their lives they always say fish the tide flooding fish at dawn or dusk when the tide is flooding get to high tide and it will be really good or whatever but it's been the complete opposite you know i got here at four o'clock and the, the, it was high tide at um 20 to 5 or something like that so i got here just on high tide and i fished the flood down and it's daylight and i've just had the best session um the fish have been feeding and i uh, so we'll, we'll run down what fish had so i've had two sea bass i've had a potentially two smooth hounds one of them very big because it just felt like a right lump there's been next to no seaweed so it wasn't weed and it just felt like it was just in the dragging along the bottom it felt like a real heavy lump i'm not joking and it the rig actually came off by the swivel where the swivel attaches to the uh, shock leader so i've never had a rig give way there before like that so i don't know what's happened uh, i just reeled in all my shock leader and then the, then you had the uh, swivel attached to it with nothing else so that was a shame that would have been really interesting to see what fish that was and how big it was i'm going to guess for another smooth hound because it just it felt identical to the other the smooth hound that i landed but just a much heavier version um so a bit gutted about that and you know it's one of them things but then obviously i've had lots of whiting i had the bull huss as well <sighs> What a session, and there's two bass. Uh, I'm more, I've had probably just, I say half a dozen, half a dozen whited, maybe a bit more. Uh, I lost count to be fair because I was too hyped up to even think about it. But that's it now. I'm done. If you could give us a comment, like, and please subscribe, it'd absolutely mean the world to me. Let me know what you think of this session, and let me know what you think of what I was just saying about the conditions and stuff because that's, like, that's just there's nothing special about today. I don't get it. Was it just right place, right time? Who knows? It's just the mysteries of the universe, I suppose. <laughs> but again, give us a comment, like, and please subscribe. Help my channel out. Help me grow. I would really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm done. Thank you for watching LRS Fishing. And you know what? Wherever there's water, I'll be there. Catch you later, guys.